Beat matching. Beat matching or pitch cue is a disc jockey technique of pitch shifting or time stretching an upcoming track to match its tempo to that of the currently playing track, and to adjust them such that the beats, and, usually, the bars, are synchronized, i.e., the kicks and snares and two house records hit at the same time when both records are played simultaneously. Beat matching is a component of beat mixing which employs beat matching combined with equalization, attention to phrasing and track selection in an attempt to make a single mix that flows together and has a good structure. The technique was developed to keep the people from leaving the dance floor at the end of the song. These days it is considered basic among disc jockeys, DJs and electronic dance music genres, and it is standard practice in clubs to keep the constant beat through the night, even if DJs change in the middle. Beat matching is no longer considered a novelty, and new digital software has made the technique much easier to master. The beat matching technique consists of the following steps. One of the key things to consider when beat matching is the tempo of both songs, and the musical theory behind the songs. Attempting to beat match songs with completely different beats per minute, BPM, will result in one of the songs sounding too fast or too slow. When beat matching, a popular technique is to vary the equalization of both tracks. For example, when the kicks are occurring on the same beat, a more seamless transition can occur if the lower frequencies are taken out of one of the songs, and the lower frequencies of the other song is boosted. Doing so creates a smoother transition. The pitch and tempo of a track are normally linked together, spin a disc 5% faster and both pitch and tempo will be 5% higher. However, some modern DJ software can change pitch and tempo independently using time stretching and pitch shifting. Allowing harmonic mixing. There is also a feature in most modern DJ software to change the tempo but keeping the original pitch, this is often referred to as master tempo or key adjust. Beat matching was invented by Francis Grosso in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Initially, he was counting the tempo with a metronome and looking for records with the same tempo. Later, a mixer was built for him by Alex Rossner, which let him listen to any channel in the headphones independently of what was playing on the speakers. This became the defining feature of DJ mixers. That and turntables with pitch control enabled him to mix tracks with different tempo by changing the pitch of the cued, redirected to headphones, track to match its tempo with the track being played by ear. Essentially, the technique he originated hasn't changed since. These days beat matching is considered central to DJing, and features making it possible are a requirement for DJ-oriented players. In 1978, the Technics SL1200 MK2 turntable was released, whose comfortable and precise sliding pitch control and high torque direct drive motor made beat matching easier and it became the standard among DJs. With the advent of the compact disc, DJ oriented compact disc players with pitch control and other features enabling beat matching, and sometimes scratching, dubbed CDJs, were introduced by various companies. More recently, Software with similar capabilities has been developed to allow manipulation of digital audio files stored on computers using turntables with special vinyl records, for example Final Scratch, M Audio Torque, Serato Scratch Live, or Computer Interface, for example Tractor DJ Studio, Mix, Virtual DJ. Other software including algorithmic beat matching is Ableton Live, which allows for real-time music manipulation and deconstruction, or MixMaster, a DJ mix set creation tool. Freeware software such as Rapid Evolution can detect the beats per minute and determine the percent BPM difference between songs. The change from pure hardware to software is on the rise, and big DJs are introducing new equipment to their kits such as the laptop, and dropping the difficulty of carrying hundreds of CDs with them. The creation of the MP3 player allowed DJs to have an alternative tool for DJing. Limitations with MP3 player DJing equipment has meant that only second generation equipment such as the IDJ2 or the Cortex Mix 300 have the pitch control that alters tempo and allows for beat matching on a digital music player. However, recent additions to the Pioneer CDJ family, such as the CDJ2000, allow MP3 player and other digital storage devices, such as external hard drives. SD cards and USB memory sticks, to be connected to the CDJ device via USB. This allows the DJ to make use of the beat matching capabilities of the CDJ unit whilst playing digital music files from the MP3 player or other storage device. Most modern DJ hardware and software now offers a sync feature which automatically adjusts the tempo between tracks being mixed so the DJ no longer needs to spend time and effort matching beats. This has caused some controversy in the DJ industry since almost anyone can beat match thanks to the new function. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.